Revelio. Rebellion. So frustrating. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But Mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned. But you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, Father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Oh, no. A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts.
Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. You should never have come here. Revelio. Revelio. Up for a bit of dying, are we? There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Revelio. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it, but I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study.
I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio. Opening all of these is tempting. Accio. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. This room is taller than it looks. Bombarda! Revelio! Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! Loft. Brilliant. this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems. Often cave-ins. And then we're abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Confringo! Revelio! This is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then oh. some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd.
Revelio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. There's something here by the altar. Accio. What did you find? Revelio. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I...